I love March. Not only is it my husband's birth month, but some great sales happen during the month of March. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa, and we are all about pantry preparedness. And March is an awesome month to stock up on different things. We're going to run through these things, and uh, I will have a list for you at the end of the video. So for fruits, fruits are still lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, pineapples. You'll start finding pineapples on sale. Um, I've been finding them on sale for like 99 cents a pineapple and cut them up, you know, can them up. It's a great thing. Um, strawberries, Florida strawberries still. Grapes you can find on sale and various different berries depending on where they're coming from. As for vegetables, okay, we have our cold vegetables, right? We have broccoli, cabbage, lettuce, radishes, leeks, artichokes, avocados. Uh, we have peas, asparagus, some sweet peppers, uh, spinach, and shallots. Now, this is the month. The one thing that's not on this list is that you will be able to find carrots, potatoes, and cabbage on sale over the course of the next couple weeks. They will be on sale for very good prices. No, you cannot can cabbage safely, and trust me, if you try to do it, you, number one, you're going to be making up the time, um, but number two, it will taste horrible. Absolutely horrible. It becomes pungent, much more pungent over time. Like even my chickens would need it. You know, it's not good. Okay. So don't can cabbage, but because St. Patrick's day is on the 17th, right? Corned beef and cabbage, baby, those boiled dinners. So good. So cabbage, carrots, and potatoes are the big ones to watch for as far as prices coming way down. And then of course, corned beef. So corned beef will not normally go on sale until about the week before. So figure about the 10th is when you'll start seeing really good sale prices and maybe for a little while after St. Patrick's Day. You may not know this about me, but honestly, my number one favorite protein is corned beef. It's so good. It is so good. So we still have some in the freezer from last year. I'm not going to mess with it, but this year, keep an eye on your prices because if you're buying it at full price, you are paying way, way too much, way too much. It's just crazy expensive. So St. Patrick's Day sales, watch for those things. Corned beef, cabbage, potatoes, and carrots. Yum. Another cool thing is March is frozen food month. Who'd have thunk, right? Okay. Frozen food month. So you may find a lot of really great deals on frozen foods. Now... <clears throat> If I'm going to recommend anything, I'm going to recommend going after the real foods, not the pizza rolls. Okay. But if you are into pizza rolls, Dime New Dollar says you'll find them on sale at some point this month because it's frozen food month. Yes, it is. You can check it out. Now, frozen vegetables are great. Yes, you can dehydrate them. Highly recommend that. They take up a lot less space and you can also can them. So let's take for, let's take for example, corn. Um, you can absolutely can up frozen corn. What I would do if you are cho choosing to do that is I would let it defrost completely and then you can skip the blanching process because it's already been blanched and just can it up. So if you can find a great deal on it, go for it. Because it's March, you're also going to start seeing different things on clearance as far as winter gear, winter items, things that are more popular during the colder months will go on sale beginning in March because they're making way for all the spring that's coming up, right? So check out if you need new coats, if you need new boots, socks, long underwear, whatever. Um, those kinds of things will be on clearance. So you want to check out the end caps at your favorite stores see what you can stock up on that you know you're going to use only if you use it that's the only time you're saving money okay so grab those up put them away properly like in a tote or something and that way you've got them on next winter hits but make sure to write them down on your inventory make a make a page make a page for non-food items put them in your inventory and that way you know when you check it next year that you've got them or later this year that you've got them and you don't have to buy them again in fall getting ready for winter because you got sale prices. Yes, you did. Easter falls on the 31st this year. So leading up to Easter, egg prices should come down. Ham prices should come down. All of the typical fare that goes along with Easter, you can 
typically look for sale prices on that. It will not be until the end of the month. So figure out what those are and definitely have fun going out and treasure hunting for those because Easter falling on the last day of the month um, will definitely make the sales cycle very interesting because Easter will then also fall into next month's shopping stock up list, you know, to find the stuff on clearance. But if you're looking for sales on hams, possibly turkeys, um, lamb, those are the times definitely to keep an eye, for, eye out for it towards the end of this month. Not at the beginning. It's going to be all about the corned beef at the beginning. Remember, if you can find some of these things like the spinach or the shallots or the sweet peppers, now is a great time to stock up on them, prep them, dehydrate them. That way you've got them throughout the spring season before your, your crops actually start coming in. Uh, it's a great way to have them on hand. I love having dehydrated spinach in my pantry, in my kitchens, because that way I can add it to all kinds of things. And it's extra nutrition. It's still very, very good for you. And it's less expensive if you can get it on sale. So check out those prices. Make sure to really keep an eye on them. A lot of people had trouble with the automatic download of the list. A lot of people. So I'm going to do two ways here. I'm going to create an automatic download. That's what it does. It automatically downloads. If you can't get it to work on the device that you have, then I'm going to send you to the website also where this will be. And you can print that particular web page or you can right click and you can save the entire graphic because it's a picture. That way you've got it for your files. We're trying to make it so that everyone can get a hold of it, right? Add it to your books. It's all really good. And I hope that you guys go out and really take advantage of what's on sale to stock up your pantry. Do it when it's affordable so that you don't have to worry about it when the price goes crazy. If you want to see more about different ways to stock up your pantry, check out this list right here. And until next time, be safe.